10 Worst Seaside Resorts in the UK Anyone leaving home to spend some time at a resort is going with high expectations. There are tons of things to do at seaside resorts. However, it's not all seaside resorts that live up to their designation. Some of them could be better described as anything else but resorts. Some of these pseudo seaside resorts are there in the UK. We hereby present to you the 10 worst seaside resorts in the UK. After considering each of them, the choice is yours to patronize them or steer clear of them. These seaside resorts in the UK were rated based on several features that are expected in seaside resorts and they were weighted over 100 points. The following are the scores. 10. Burnham-on-Sea, Somerset, England Burnham-on-Sea is a seaside town located in Somerset, England. You would be fair to this place at the mouth of the Parrot River upon Bridgewater Bay. If you reckon with it as a fishing village or town for the sake of respect that it used to be until the late 1700s when it began to grow. While the park at Burnham-on-Sea was lovely with clean facilities and lots of activities, the resort could not score more than 48 points. The on-site pizza costs too much. You need a 10-minute walk to get a better deal. Most of the accommodation here is caravans without heating in the bedrooms. The bedding quality of the rooms is begging to be upgraded. 9. Colwyn Bay, Conwy, Wales Colwyn Bay, a town and community in Conwy County Borough, cannot escape our attention. Conwy is on the north coast of Wales where it is overlooking the Irish Sea. The town of Colwyn Bay is recognised as a seaside resort within the historic county of Denbyshire, no doubt. But what is in doubt is the quality of the resort. From what we know, Colwyn Bay can't earn more than 58 points. Yes, the clean rooms, the security and proximity to the North Wales Expressway, the railway station and the beach count for something. However, the services were generally poor. The rooms are freezing without a heater and electrical fitting including plumbing were not being maintained. The food options were zero. 8. Great Yarmouth, Norfolk, England Then next is Great Yarmouth. Joining them in removing the prefix great, let's comfortably join in referring to it by just Yarmouth, which is more fitting than Great Yarmouth. In any case, it is recognised as a seaside resort town in Norfolk, there in England, straddling the River Yare. It is located 30 kilometres east of Norwich. As a seaside resort, Yarmouth ties with its more neighbourly Burnham-on-Sea and Colwyn Bay in Wales to score 58. Though it has sandy beaches and two historic piers, amusement rides and restaurants, Yarmouth as Norfolk's flagship beach town is always crammed. Holiday makers during the summertime suffer disorderliness here as if they were more services than the management could handle in an organised manner. 7. Morecambe, Lancashire, England Morecambe is a town in the city of Lancaster in Lancashire, England. It's hard to understand why Morecambe is still being referred to as a seaside resort. Up until the mid-20th century, it was a thriving seaside resort. Then it was home to the country's largest Pontins resort. That was then. When Pontins closed in 1993, Morecambe started shredding its fame and is now a shadow of its glorious past. Going by reviews of those who have visited Morecambe in search of a seaside resort, you'll be magnanimous to give it 58 points and may incur the wrath of other resorts who have been awarded the same point. 6. Worthing, West Sussex, England Worthing, situated in West Sussex in South East England, is number 6 on the list of the 10 worst seaside resorts in the UK. Located 79 kilometres south of London and 16 kilometres west of Brighton and Hove, Worthing will be glad to be given 58 points and score higher than five other seaside resorts. Those with an understanding of this place have advised that you don't come to Worthing for something real. But if you desire leafy avenues, a kite surf or seaside terraces that are a bit cheaper than other seaside resorts, you're always welcome to Worthing. At any rate, you'll be entertained there with the cave pond where you'll find huge carp and other fish almost lifeless. 5. Lowestoft, Suffolk, England We're still in England where we find the fifth one of the worst seaside resorts in the UK. Lowestoft is surely a coastal town. This civil parish in the East Suffolk district of Suffolk in England is the most easterly UK settlement. It's located 177 kilometres northeast of London, 61 kilometres northeast of Ipswich and 35 kilometres southeast of Norwich. Viewed as a seaside resort, it scores even lower. Going by most of the reviews of its standard and quality of services, it can't score more than 57. Don't be surprised if you find some parts of Suffolk among the best seaside resort, but it's definitely not lowest off with its faded beach, poorly cleaned and generally understaffed facilities. 4. Margate, K. 
Kent, England. On the north coast of Kent in southeast England, you'll find Margate, a seaside town. The town is recognised as a seaside resort, and well, we can't argue that. However, it'll be more widely accepted if it had remained a significant maritime port it had been since the Middle Ages. It's the fourth worst seaside resort in the UK, tying with Lowestoft on 57 points. This review by a Level 3 contributor to TripAdvisor is typical. What a right dump. We walked around the shops and it's full of young mums. We kept smelling weed as we walked around. It is run down, dirty and just horrid. I would not even recommend it to my worst enemy. 3. Ilfracombe, Devon, England The third worst seaside resort in the UK, Ilfracombe, also tagged a seaside resort on the North Devon coast of England. But it's de facto a civil parish with a small harbour surrounded by cliffs. We don't want to tell you much about Ilfracombe than saying it scores only 56 points. The dreadful experience of those who have been to Ilfracombe includes having been offered uncharged duvets and rooms not well tidied up because of either a spike in lodgers' turnout or a shortage of personnel. The information on their websites can be misleading while the customer service is disgraceful. And if you complain about any aspect of their poor service, you'll be threatened with legal action. 2. Western Supermare, Somerset, England Now we're beaming our lights on Western Supermare, also known as Western. It's a seaside resort town in North Somerset, England, lying by the Bristol Channel. 32 kilometres southwest of Bristol, it's between Walbury Hill and Bleeden Hill. If you want to visit a beach with not much rubbish and be greeted with millions of tiny worms covering the beach, Weston will be happy to receive you. This is a seaside resort where the sea is muddy and where you have to walk over the mud to reach the murky waters. It scores only 55 points. 1. Skegness, Lincolnshire We finally get to Skegness, the worst seaside resort in the UK. On the Lincolnshire coast of the North Sea, you'll find the town 69 kilometres from Lincoln and 35 kilometres northeast of Boston. The seaside town of Skegness is a civil parish in the East Lindsay district of Lincolnshire. However, it's a terrible one, so bad to score not more than 48 points. Every bad thing about the nine previously mentioned seaside resorts on this list is present in Skegness. So what more can we say than to add our voice to those begging the authorities of Skegness, Lincolnshire? Come to the aid of this dilapidated resort? Have you visited any of these 10 worst seaside resorts in the UK or their location? Please let us know what you think about each of them. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and turn on the notification bell. This is Learning Canteen.